Shalom, shalom, Yasharala. This is your girl, Yahara Yasharala. And King David. Ew. And, you know, we was just having a conversation. Y'all know how we do. We had these conversations and through our cockle dots, said press play. Mm. <laughs> so, I this conversation was struck up. Because I was scrolling down, and this is so crazy that this sister just said this. This sister is edifying. As a matter of fact, let me tell y'all her name, because I want to give a shout-out to this sister. Shout-out to Sharona Yasharala. You have inspired us to talk about this particular topic today. Hey, girl. Ew. So... We're talking about this baptism because Yasharala seemed not to understand that you are not bigger than the Messiah himself. We, as the leaders, King David and Queen Yahweh Yasharala, are coming to Yasharala to edify. This message is for edification purposes. If you don't like it, move on. If you like it, share it, spread it, edify somebody else. Don't allow a, a message that you feel is good and that is edifying to your spirit. Just sit there, share it to somebody else. Do the work of the Most High because this message is coming from the Ruach HaKodash. Okay? And it's funny because we actually had a conversation with a brother yesterday about this. So when I seen the sister talk about this, spirit the spirit is moving. It's time. It's time to talk. It's time. To, it's time to address the nation, the so Hebrews, wild. the so-called African Americans, so-called Latinos, so-called. Uh, I mean, not so-called, but Native Americans. You get it. So people think that they don't got to get baptized. That's one. Another false doctrine. People came here sealed. That's another one. Another false doctrine. Um. Oh, the Ruach HaKodash comes to baptize. Okay. So, I'm going to put a priest on here and the king, David, resurrected, on this mic so he can better explain to y'all that not only do you need a baptism, but you are no bigger than our Messiah. You are not much greater than our Messiah. And the Messiah said to follow in all my ways. So if the Messiah had to go through Yehukanan, John, and, and the Messiah knew that John had more power than him. But he told John, John, we still got to do this. You already know we got to follow the order this is. So if the Messiah said, listen, I know I got more power than you, John. But listen, you doing this right now. But I'm going to have to still get baptized by through you because you are doing this and I got to follow the order that the Father has put in place. So what makes you Hebrew stink? You are bigger than our Savior. But y'all want to talk this, oh, I'm so humble. Oh, I'm so humble. I'm so humble. Oh, I'm humble. I'm humble. I'm humble. Y'all love that humble talk. It be the people who always screaming, I'm humble, that be the farthest way from humble as possible. Because you're walking around here thinking you don't got to do what the Messiah did. That only raises suspicions to the ones who are following the Messiahs in all their ways. To look at you with a side eye and say, hold up, you must not be part of the Messiah's congregation. And we must have been wrong about you. That's a side. That's a that's a little secret insertion that only one person know who we talking to right there. Okay. So let me put the priest on 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 a line right here. So so my husband King David can break this down. Here you go, babe. Kel Halel Yahweh Yahweh Shah Rawat Hakodash Kakamawat Fire from the Zion from the Shamaim, from the throne of Sapphire. On, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, what we have here is Melchizedek, priest, king, and prophet. Mm -hmm. 
And prophetess. Yashara and prophetess here. Mm -hmm. Yasharala might not understand how that works. How can you be a resurrected king yet operate as a priest when you once was a prophet? Mm -hmm. See, there's no limit to Yahweh power. Come on. He yeah. share his power Come on. with those that he love and those that keep his word. Those that walk in faith, because that's the only way to please him. Are you moving with faith? Mm -hmm. So, according to what my wife was just saying just now, and like we don't get on here unless it's something really deep enough mm -hmm. that the people have to be reprimanded on. Yeah. Prophets reprimand people of their nation and the demons against their nation. Yeah. Okay. So, this thing about baptism. Yahweh Shai got baptized by John. What was that? John what? Which one? About him being baptized, John. I think uh, it was John 3, 16. Yeah, I No, it wasn't. Three. It wasn't that scripture. Um, I'm going to go to the... Hold on, y'all. Let my husband grab this scripture right quick. Because, um, yeah. I can do... Just grab it, pull it up for me in here. Which one? And I'm going to hit him with the one I already got right now, which is Exodus 29. Mm -hmm. So, when you are approaching, it's recorded. when you are approaching the Allahim, you're supposed to be made clean. Mm -hmm. You are royal people. You were not royal before you approached him. So, if you were not royal, you were filthy. So, when you approach the Allah, like he told Moses, take your sandals off. This is holy ground. Maybe the sandals weren't right. Maybe the sandals were something wrong on his feet. I don't know. But the thing is, we all have to be cleansed. Because we came from holy land to unholy land. Right. We didn't dealt in these people place we didn't picked up sin on us we didn't walk past sinners mm -hmm. even Aaron when he was in the temple he could not even come out with all his garments on because it said he would transfer holiness mm. and everybody is not supposed to be holy mm. only the ones that he choose to be holy because right. he got vessels for destruction too and he got vessels for beauty Come on, he got vessels for correction he got demons for correction. Come on. That's he got he... angels for correction. Come on. Come so, um, yeah. now, the first baptism we saw, which I believe that Moses was the first Baptist because he was the first leader of our people. He was drawn from the water. Moshe means to be pulled from the water. So he was already washed, ready for service right. and brought into a royal place. Right. Mm, hold on. Mm -hmm. But, over here in Exodus 29 and 4. Let's go to 29 and 1 first. It says, and this is the thing that you shall do unto them to hollow them, to minister unto me in the priest office. This is the thing you do to anybody that operate in any office unto Yahweh. Right. Any office. Any See, office. you got to understand. Office, but they don't wanna, right. They don't want to do what it takes to get up in an office, though. But yeah. they, they love that office. They want to be in an office. So they that mean if you are, that mean if you are a prophet, king, queen, dope fiend, everything in between, you get washed when you approach the deity. Exactly. Who are you to think you're going to be filthy in your own understanding, but then hold an office? Hold on. When I, when I get up in the morning and I put on new clothes, I wash myself to go and dress myself to go and do what I have to do in the day. Right. Who would approach the Allahim as they are and say, I don't have to follow your ordinance? Huh. And then think you're going to get up in his congregation. Think you're going to get in his house. Man. In Revelation, it said that the banker was set. Everybody had on white garments. And then, behold. Some stood at the door with no garments on, and Elohim said, Who are these people? Right. How did they get in here? Cast them out to ev abhorrence, everlasting abhorrence. Hmm. This is what happens when you don't follow the ordinances. And this is what happens when you get reprimanded by someone that brings correction. Huh. So, 
We got people in Yasharal, even some prophets, some real prophets, real. some real kings, saying that they don't have to get baptized. I got baptized, and I carry Yahweh Shah baptism, Ooh. and I still dip that water. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, Yahweh Shah did not baptize with water because it said his baptism was of spirit and fire, and it was not his time yet because it was not his time yet because he didn't give ample instruction to teach these men how to walk like him yet. See, y'all thinking because you put fringes on and then you got dipped by some heathen hmm. that you ready for service. Huh. See, your seal is preparing you, open you up to really be operable for your service. Yes. Giving you your extra equipment when you had bare minimum. Mm, come on. So, man. now, let's go over here. They got the king rock. Hmm. <laughs> Check this out. And this is what you are to do unto them to hollow them, make them deep, make them set apart, to minister unto Yahweh in the priest's office, in the prophet office, in the king office, in the any office. Right. Just because you, the people, you, we was getting circumcised, we was getting baptized. Come on. Okay. What, what you going to say? Oh, I don't have to get my meat cut right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, 29 and 4. After you to bring them into hollow them to minister before Yahweh. This is what you do. Four, 29 and four. Take Aaron and his sons and shall bring them unto the door of the tabernacle in assembly and shall wash them with water. Hmm. Now, Moses is greater than y'all. Hmm? Did greater things than I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. And you shall take the garments and put them on Aaron. Hmm. So after being washed through the baptism, you put on new garments to say you in a new office, hmm. to say you found your identity. Yeah. You got a position now. Hmm. So all of y'all think y'all operate in a position. No, you're not because you're not Kodesh. You're not set apart yet. You don't even have the set apart anointing. Let's go to Exodus 30. Exodus 30, hmm, 22, Exodus 30, 22. This is how you hollow them unto service unto Yahweh. Moreover, Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, Take also unto you principal spices of pure mirror, 500 shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even 250 shekels, and of sweet calamus, 250 shekels, and of cassia, 500 shekels, and of the shekel, the sanctuary, and of the all olive, a hen. Now, one of these things have been translated. 25 says, and you shall make it an oil of holy ointment and ointment compound after the art of the apothecary. It shall be a holy anointing oil and you shall anoint the tabernacle of the assembly therewith and the ark of the testimony and the table and all his vessels and the menorah and his vessels and the altar of incense and the altar of ascending smoke offering with all his vessels and the laver and his foot. And you shall sanctify them that they may be most holy set apart. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. So when I got this oil and I baptize somebody, when I put it on you, you become most holy. So. 30, 30, and you shall anoint Haran and his sons and consecrate them, set them apart that they may minister unto me as priest's office. Mm. So, Yasharal, how many prophets and priests we got that been really set apart? How many priests and prophets out there got on white linens and been anointed with the set apart oil? If you ain't, okay, so I came here with the Holy Spirit. Why did I come here with the Holy Spirit? Because I was still, I was in Sheol, right? Mm -hmm. With the holy ore still on me that I carried the whole time during my walk before mm -hmm. and got it again. Mm -hmm. The way you come back with that spirit is that you keep the most high ways to your grave. Yeah. 
And then when you come back out that day, you she will not depart from you because you did not depart from him. So, still, when I came out with her, I learned how to sin. And when I learned how to sin and do something that was unrighteous, I had to be washed again. Because I'm in a filthy world. I'm in a different mindset. I didn't come back here knowing I'm David. I came back here thinking I was going to be a track star, a basketball player, a rapper, a rapper, a model. Ooh. Ew. Then one time I was thinking about boxing because I know I got these hands. Ew. I said, man, I go knock a couple people out, give me a couple meals, take care of my family. <laughs> Ain't no thing for me. Hit somebody in one round and then fold them. So. Y'all talking about you don't need no baptism because you already been sealed. If that's the deal, how come in Revelation, the Most High said, go get them and seal the rest? Hmm. Huh? What's that? What's that? Let, let, huh? Let me, let me pull that up. How come? They don't understand. Now, that. how come in Daniel 12 that the, this man in white linen is baptizing people, but we don't need no baptism? That's 14. No, I think that's uh We don't need no baptism, Yasharal, because we already done made it. We perfect. We splendid in all our ways. We lean on to our own understanding. We don't acknowledge Yah. We acknowledge every man that goes by. Hmm. How many times you talk to Yah today? How many times you bless him? How many times you encourage somebody today? Okay. Now. Go ahead and that, baby. Yeah, you know, um, my husband is really making some great points. You know, I see a lot of people talking about, oh, we don't need a water baptism, this and that, this and that. I don't understand why you Hebrews think y'all can pick up y'all Bibles, y'all can pick up y'all Apocryphas and cherry pick what y'all want to do in the word. How do you think you can cherry pick what you want to do? It don't work that way. Because they ain't died to themselves yet. They and a lot of y'all have not died. That's exactly what it is. A lot of y'all have not died to yourself. When we say die to yourself, meaning take this flesh away. When me and my husband wake up, we dedicate our time to the Elohim every single day. And it ain't what we, listen, this is, this is because the most high is calling us. We know our position. We know who we are. We know what we supposed to be doing. We got the calling. We know it. Yes. So soon as we wake up in the morning, we are dedicating ourselves, our, our bodies to the father. We ain't rapping. Okay. We ain't making music. Okay. We ain't out here. I could be out here with a whole successful Yahweh Yasharala clothing line. Okay? A successful Yahweh Yasharala modesty clothing line. No, I put what I wanted to do on the back burner for the father. Come on. Yeah. I can't so all that rapping. All that selling what you want to sell right now, doing what you want to do, you ain't died to yourself. And this is why you cherry pick what you want to cherry pick in the scriptures. Because the Ruach HaKodash is telling me a lot of y'all who don't want to get that water baptism is because y'all got demons that's holding you from moving forward with the Father. Hallelujah. You got demons. Demons that's persuading your thoughts. You got demons that's influencing your thoughts. And that demon know once King David put his hands on that vessel, that demon got to go. Yeah, get up out of here. So what that demon is doing is convincing you. Playing with your mind. Playing with your salvation. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Yasharala, y'all yeah. really think that this is a game. The elect is really about to be gone. I'm telling you what we're hearing, whether you like it or not. 
But when it get real, and when the Most High snatch up the people and cause plagues on this land, destruction to this land, let it be known, ain't no flesh going to be saved. These people walking around here thinking that they going to be saved because they in false doctrine. No, you're not going to be saved. Hamashiach is cleansing this place. He is cleansing this place from all flesh. All roaches and rats. All flesh. The righteous martyrs that's going to die for his name's sake are going straight to paradise on the shield side. Now, now let's, let's, let's have another discussion with this at the same time, because this is another thing. Now, we've been we've been pushing this. Be, see, Yahweh Shah is the hope of glory. Yep. Hope of glory means that our forefathers, I, my wife. Was believing for these days that we walking into right now. We was believing for the day to wake up and know we could be filled with the cold death spirit. It just ain't going to be there with you like a sidekick. Yeah. It's going to be with you all the time. In your business, outside of your business. Because yeah. you belong to Yah. Okay, so. When I looked up on this. Now, after Moses sprinkled the water. He, of course, anointed him with the set-apart oil, then put clothes on them of linens, of white linens first. See, the hope of glory, Christ said in Revelations that he's coming for his congregation in their garments of praise. Huh. Now, I don't need nobody to get on here and say, my spirit, man, is my garment of praise. <laughs> Nigga, garment means cloth. <laughs> it don't mean spirit. A soul. <laughs> right. So, you can't be trying to get baptized and anointed and then go still put on what you had, Fat Albert, Sean John, hmm. Rockaware, Nike. Supreme, Nike. Nike, that's a foreign Greek goddess, Versace, Versace gay, Gucci. Gucci, or the most expensive stuff is gay. And low vibrational. And low vibrational. So when you get that 100% Versace silk shirt, guess what? It ain't no silk thread. So here, you didn't pay 300 for a silk shirt and it's still a mixed garment. Well, poly and it, well, polyester threaded. Right. And then it got a gay person name in it. And the spirits see you with that gay person clothes on. They're like, oh, you must be gay too. Hey, gay spirits, let's go to him. Right. Okay. So. Check this out. I woke up this morning. My wife was dropping some word and I just heard the spirit say, grab the Bible mm -hmm. and open it up. Yep. Didn't know what I was going to read. Just waited till my eyes set on what it was moved to yep. be set on. Yep. Went to Revelation 19 and 8. And to her. Was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. See, this is the congregation of Yahweh Shah. Hmm. See, this is a fine achievement to even get this understanding. See, it says, for fine linen is the righteousness of the Kodeshim. That means if you're righteous and you're in Hamashiach, you going to eventually do this. Let's go to um this other scripture I got to this. Let's go to Isaiah mm, 61. So while he's getting that scripture, you know, what he, my husband just said as far, uh, as far as though this is what the congregation of Hamashiach does. See, now it all boils down to those of you who don't want to do what the congregation of Hamashiach is doing what's and what's in the heavens. Because last time I checked, the angels wore linen. Um, the, the father wears linen. Hamashiach wore linen. The congregation of Hamashiach wears linen. But y'all still not wearing linen. So my whole thing is, the question is, do you belong to the Messiah's congregation? That's the question. Because if you belong to the Messiah congregation, ain't no way you're going to put up a hissy fit of not even trying to do what the Messiah tells you to do. Right. So now you question yourself, do I really belong to the Messiah? Because I'm really not following all his ways. I'm not really walking in all his ways. Oh, but I want to get up on social media. I want to be seen. I want to be heard. 
I want to be known because I ain't never been nothing all my life. And they have put me down. And my mother told me I wasn't nothing. And my father they ain't never been there. So I feel like I could, I could, I can, I could uh, accomplish something in the Hebrew community. Hmm. Oh, I got this new information. Oh, I could spread this information without not even sitting back and letting Hamashiach teach you. Without oh. sitting back and letting the Ruach HaKodash teach you. But you get a little bit of information and you run with it. Don't even know you're doing a Satan's work because most of y'all are spreading false doctrines. Right. <laughs> of your understanding, leaning not all onto his way. So, you come in the truth. You find out who you are. You, you 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 find out that oh maybe I'm a prophet or maybe I'm a prophetess. You learn the word, you learn some of the history, but yet you don't do all of the word. Why is that? Because you ain't dead to yourself yet. Because you ain't hit that water to get that real spiritual death. Mm. See hitting that water. See if you watch my baptism, me and my wife baptism, Yahweh Shai's baptism. See, it's not my baptism. See, I had to get anointed by our Alua, our Elohim. Mm -hmm. I had to get anointed by the angel of the Most High that's over us. He had to put his hand on me like I put my hand on who I'm baptizing. And felt the power come on me and asked him, what are you doing? He said, I'm giving you my might. His might was his priesthood. So that means that I am qualified to pass what he passes. Now, check this out. I'm hitting you with Isaiah 61. 10. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall be joyful in my Elohim. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. Hold on. Did you say white linens is the garments to show that you're in salvation? Mm. Hold on. This is what the Spirit just told me while my wife was talking. Yahweh Shah does only what he saw from the Shama. He was breaking down the Shama to people on the earth before he even went there. And that's what you be doing. Now look, check this out. <laughs> right, because I stand before the Allahim. Right, that's what you be doing. When I be going to sleep sometime and then come back. Like I'm a normal man here. Now check this out. Up there, they always doing that. They don't change it. The change came when we fell as a people and then came to an evil land and then picked up their customs not knowing it was wrong. Right. So how you identify as an ascending master or you're ascending, you're an ascension, you're elevating, you're getting light. Is you change what you used to do. The water laying you down on our baptism. You see, I don't put people like everybody else do. Dump their whole body standing there in the water. Who dies standing up? <laughs> Who's in a casket standing but a mummy? Yahweh Shah was in his tomb laying down on his back. So when you die to yourself, you need to go in a form as if, see, the water washes your sins as far as into the sea. That's why you go to a live body of water because that body of water is, is not confined to a minimum space. Like a pool. Like a pool. So when you wash somebody in a pool, guess what? Somebody else going to jump in that pool, they're going to get out with your sin on them. Because the washing as far as, as to the sea, spirit is like the water. It's spirits in the waters. They don't understand that. It's, it's spirits in your alcohols that you get from the liquor store. Right. Y'all <laughs> see, y'all don't understand That's how true. deep it is because y'all don't have that type of deep thinking. Some of y'all do. Deep. A lot of y'all in Yasharala don't. Deep calls it to deep. Exactly, babe. Y'all don't have that type of deep thinking. I, everybody ain't deep thinkers. I'm a deep thinker. My husband's a deep thinker. Okay, everybody in the deep thinking. See, it, th this rabbit hole go real deep, baby. And these camps ain't giving you this drop. Because they don't got the drop. They wasn't chosen to give you this information. This information comes from above. These, these scriptures that we break it down. Let me tell you something. When you open up this Bible, you can't just read it throughout. It, it don't work that way. The spirit will lead you here. The spirit will leave you there. That is why it's here, there, there, there. 
hear a little, dare a little, line upon line, precept upon precept. You move according to the spirit when you're in a Bible. Because let me tell you something. These people didn't change. Like a lot of these scriptures are not even in chronological order. Did you know that? A lot of it's not in chronological order. It's broken down. It's coded. They put it like this purposely so you wouldn't know what the time was. So you wouldn't know the Most High was going to reveal it to the leaders when it was time. Right. And it's getting revealed to you now. So that's why y'all feel like through the resurrected king and queen. That's, this is why people feel like we coming across so strong and so high headed and high mighty. We we gotta be high and mighty okay. enough to be up here dealing with the top dog. Tough. Okay. I ain't gonna say dog because then y'all gonna get on there. Uh, dog is this God backwards. So, Spirit look, of error. Spirit of error. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we dropping information. Thank you, wife. Because y'all need to know the reason why y'all get on here and y'all be speculating, watching how many times I talk with my wife, how many words she sent out of her mouth, exactly what Bible we reading from, exactly how her, her hair is done, what color clothes she wearing, um, if her clothes is appropriate or not, um, this or that. Spirit of error. They do that to the celebs, aren't Yeah, spirit. Of, yeah, you got to be somebody if they talking about everything you doing. Everything. Look, spirit of error and spirit of jealousy That's has all. been set on our people. That's it. So this is why on Facebook, one person makes a post, then everybody coming from north, south, east, and west with all kind of doctrine on something simple. Yep. <laughs> we still debating if your Howard Shy is real. <laughs> right. Craziness. Why are you believing in salvation when it's only coming through one person? Right. <laughs> don't believe that you're going to be saved if you don't believe in the Savior. Right. Okay. So, Isaiah 61. 10. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall be joyful in my Elohim. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. So as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Hmm, you know you're a bride. That's why you like jewels. <laughs> I love jewels. Huh? I know I'm a, a bride's groom. I'm part of the bride, so I rock out a little bit too. <laughs> we lively stones. That's why we like stones around us. Right. We live. I'm a sapphire. Huh. <laughs> More fire. For as the earth brings forth her bud, and as the garden causes things that are sown in it to spring forth, so Adonai, Yahweh, will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. This right here in 11, it says, for as the earth brings forth her bud. That's the elect. Mm. As the elect come out, they, what? And as the garden causes things that are sown into the spring forth, when the elect is took into their safe place and they're going to rock out in righteousness, white linens, even the land going to yield to them because they in Obedience. Yep. So, now, let me hit you with this one right quick. I already told you, Revelation uh, 19 and the end of 8. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the Kodeshain. Mm. Okay. Now, this one was told to me while my wife was talking earlier and I, I lost it. We are to seek the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness, then all things will be added to us. So if you're looking up, you can't help to know where your redemption lies from. You can't help but to know what's going on up there. If I'm trying to get in an all white party, I need my all white on. Hmm. Right. If I'm a part of the party or the body, why well, I ain't got my equipment. Right. Huh. Come on. Y'all hand ain't slack. Maybe mine is. Maybe I'm buying stuff that ain't really what I need because I got to fortify this temple because the enemy wanted destroyed. So, Yahweh Shai 
was always showing what was going on in the Shamayim and bringing this to man. That's why they pondered and marveled at his deep, boldness, courageous talk. Who is he that talks like this? So, he's showing us something. Then, even when some came from the Shamaim, his garments and his countenance became whiter than snow. I believe his hair turned white at that moment. I believe Yahweh Shah on the Mount of Transfiguration, his hair turned white with them garments. Mm. Hallelujah. And I just want to bring up a point how what my husband just said, as far as though Yahweh Shah was um, teaching the people what was going on, uh, bringing information from the heavens down to the people. To a lower thinker. <laughs> and, and that just makes me, that just shows me, babe, because you have already been prophesying the. You know, when we were about to be out of here, way before me and you even, you know, became one or anything. Three years ago. Right. So, no, well, no, I'm talking about like when we first started talking and I got counsel from you oh, about okay. the situation yeah, yeah. and you told me. Right. So, my, my whole thing is with this, right? If the Most High sent Yahweh shot back to tell the people the things of the heavens, right? He gave them this information. Um... What makes you think the Most High wasn't going to send somebody back at this time, like he said in scripture, to give us the downloads and the information of what was going on? That's why the Most High said, I'm going to raise up King David. A shepherd for the people. A shepherd. <laughs> last time I, his voice. Last time I checked, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that comment to myself. But um, I hope this was very edifying to those who think they ain't got to get baptized because that's a lie. Please stop passing around the false doctrines. How are you supposed to be a prophet of the Most High, a.k.a. an elect, a.k.a. supposedly supposed to be this, that, and that, the witness, whatever. This person know who I'm talking to. Hi, and, and, and brother, I love you. I love you so much. That's why I'm up on here edifying you. And you know we genuinely love you. But we love you so much that we care about your salvation. See, Yasharala, y'all don't understand how me and King David put our lives on the line to bring y'all and to do this work for the Father. We are sacrificial lambs. We got drones coming flying over our house as we speak right now. Look, tell them Government calling our phone through all throughout the day harassing us. This is deep. This is deep. I mean, sometimes we will go to the grocery store and leave phones home. Don't even take a phone and a drone is sitting over top of the grocery store before we even arrive. Just enjoy 15 minutes alone. Because they listening to everything we say and watching everything we do. And then moving on what we say to determine what they're going to do to y'all. Exactly. Like my husband so why you said, us? everything we say, tell y'all, and how we move, I'm telling you right now, the government is the, the most. Let me tell you something. A couple of weeks ago, the Most High sent me a download. Couple of things. He, he downloaded uh, probably about four, five, six things all at once when I was about to pray on my knees with my husband. And he told me that the government was watching us through our cell phones and listening to us, me and my husband. Okay? So that was the most hard to tell us to be watchful what we say because we know we got the enemy watching us. Okay? So it's, it's that deep. It's that deep. I'm telling you. So when these people are listening to King David resurrected and Queen Yahweh resurrected talk and give Yasharala the Hebrew so-called African Americans the drop on what is going on. They moving according to the churches. And this here is the church of Philadelphia, hmm. the top church. Yeah. What's that scripture, babe? Revelation, Revelation what? Three Revelation 3 and 9. The church of Philadelphia when Hamashiach addresses David. Come on, let's read. Oh, and where we at? We in Philadelphia. Amp, because I live in Philadelphia. Amp. <laughs> now, so, and I just gathered. I, the Spirit said, what, like, what if one of these people we talking to is one of these ones that he checking? Right. 
so. Because if you resurrected and came back here, you got some kind of position, some key play here. Right. You ain't just here to breathe and eat ice cream. Mm -hmm. So. And rap. Yeah. <laughs> wrap these scriptures up around you and put on some white linen and a water, a real baptism. Wrap that up. And unto the angel of the called out assembly. Hmm. No, that's not where I'm at. Seven. And to the angel of the called out assembly in Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David. Mm -hmm. That's your how Shah has the key of David. Mm -hmm. He that opens and no man shuts mm -hmm. and shuts and no man opens. Mm -hmm. That means he has complete authority in the earth. Yes. I know your works. This is your how Shah talking to. His angel that sent the one that's in right standing with him out of six others. Huh. Because it's seven lab stands now. Seven spirits. Huh. That menorah. Come yeah. Y'all better get them in scriptures. Okay. Huh. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door hmm. and no man can shut it. You know what they're saying? No one can take me off of who I am. No one can cause my words to come to nothing. No one can come up against me and prevail. Huh. For you have a little strength and have guarded my word. You hear that? Yeah, I was shy saying David is keeping his word and guarding it. Yeah. Well, I'm over here ready to fight for it. Mm -hmm. And have not denied my name. Behold. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Yahudim and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Okay. He said, I have loved you. That's beloved. Hmm. Because you have guarded the word of my patience. I also will guard you from the hour of calamity, which shall come upon all the world. So he's telling David and the church of Philadelphia, his mate, Ew. his queen, Ew. Uh, we got y'all. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> that shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Ooh. Hold that fast which you have. Come on. That no man take your crown. Come on. Yeah. I hear y'all at the time out. Oh. He, yeah, he must be effeminate. <laughs> no, I think you see in beauty and light. Okay, because guess what? Yah said, put them garments on of linen for beauty. Right. So you see beauty and light and authority. Mm. And you can't comprehend it because you ain't seen that in this earth. Nope. Okay, <laughs> now let's get back to this word. Now check this out. 11 of Revelation 3. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that which you have, that no man take your crown. Him that overcomes, will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of Aluah, Elohim. And the name of the city of Elohim, which is renewed, Yerushalem which comes down out of heaven from uh, Elohim. And I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Ruach says unto the called out assembly. Mm. So me and my wife got ears, so that's why we hear what's going on. We hear the, the, the uh, error, we hear the jealousy, and we hear the revelation. <laughs> we hear the Rima word. <laughs> We ain't just looking at word. We get in word in dreams, visions, pictures, and my, and our, signs. And the, son, the son is getting the same thing. Yeah, you? and our children get to drop too. Even my children, I can't be around prophesy. Yep. My youngest daughter told me almost a year ago, Dad, I saw us in Israel standing by a big house in all garments. Even the children that didn't want to put the garments on had them on. Jezreel, my young, pretty pink, said, 
I saw us in Israel. My baby girl, right now, seven years old, been prophesying. When I come, I can be a mile away from my daughter and she picked my energy up. Was doing that at two and three. But y'all don't hear us, though. <laughs> my daddy's coming. Yeah. Our daddy is coming. Mm. Y'all, y'all don't hear us though. But um, we hope that this message is very edifying. We hope that it corrects the body. Because let me tell y'all something. Time is running down. When that elect is gone, it's it's gonna get or it's gonna start. It's gonna be on and popping. Okay? It's gonna be on and popping for the most high, because he's done. So all praises to the most high. All praises. And Yahweh. Yahweh. Hallelujah. And the strength of the. Ruach HaKodash. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All praises. Shalom. Shalom.